Hello, Scorpio. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. Maybe that is right. Okay. Support. Uh, the main cards I'm going to use this time are Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. I believe artwork is by wrong side. Okay. Artwork by Katrina Sokolova. You can see it under the word Tarot there if you're looking for it. There is websites for them. Uh, Watkins with an S Publishing dot com and ToriHartman.com, if I can speak. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, freeze the frame, search that out as you need to. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Supportive Oracle cards are Spellcasting Oracle cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. There's their full names. There's a website for them, too, if you want to search their stuff out. Um, SheWhoIsArt.com. So, you know, go ahead and enjoy. I think this is an awesome deck. So go ahead and enjoy that, too. I'm sure there's a lot there. One of these days, I will get to that website when my brain reminds me at the right time. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? Um, as I'm putting this out, I'm thinking of the term cognitive dissonance. Dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. If I can speak it. I don't know if that's going to hit. I don't know why that's coming out, but it's a little obnoxious. I don't know why that's obnoxious to me, but that is obnoxious to me because I feel like it's kind of like I feel like somebody keeps telling me this cognitive dissonance, cognitive dissonance, dis dissonance, dissonance. I can't speak it. I can't even say it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. In case that triggers somebody, like, hmm, or somebody says that a lot, or you, that term keeps coming up, maybe this is really something really pointed for some reason. Um, it's just very ra random that that's coming in. I don't even know where to apply it right now. But what I'm seeing here for you, oh, there's a face down one. Why? Okay, we'll see. This this can actually be a this can be a good situation. Something is not going the way I want it to. Something is very focused, very mm, like mm, how do I, like like. I can't, like, oh, I'm stuck. I can't go. I have to stay here. Ah, like, ah, I'm here. I can't go. Um, very limiting. Ugh. Like, it's exhausting a little bit. Kind of like, I feel cramped. I feel cramped. It's like, mm. And I, I'm getting the queen of cups on your side. Don't get caught up in the gender. It's basically saying you have a lot of passion and drive. In case it makes a difference, I see the king and queen as equals, like they both are leaders in their own right. I don't really feel like one supersedes the other. But I feel like something's going on here, and I feel very restricted. I'm getting the term cognitive dissonance, dissonance again. I gotta look it up later, because it's just. I think normally I'd know what it was, but right now. The term is just floating there, and there's it's not connecting to a meaning. <laughs> that happens to me when I read sometimes. Just like it's the simplest words sometimes will just have no meaning. I don't know why that happens. Um, this is something's gonna work out for the better for you, but I feel like I'm so restricted that I'm not really enjoying it at the time. Because even though things are going better, you got the ten of swords. Like the way this is happening. It's very aggravating to me. It's very restrictive. I don't feel like I can do what I want. I just feel like I'm being controlled. I feel like I'm being manipulated. I'm not I'm not a fan of this. But I seem to keep going forward because it seems like it needs to happen. Like the outcome will work out. I have faith in the outcome. I just feel like somebody's controlling me to get this to work out. And it's almost like they realize that I need this outcome to be good. I need it to succeed, and I know if I, it's almost one of the reasons why I'm allowing the limits, because I know if, if I go along with this person, I'm going to say person, even though they're extremely restrictive, it will, the situation will go where I need it to go. It will work out the way I need it to work out. I don't like how it's happening, but I need that result. I need that result. So, okay, I'll do it. All right. Um... Is this, what's going on with this person? They, there's a very, there's a heavy, heavy earth feel with them. Heavy, heavy, heavy. The Hierophant is sometimes 
noted as the Taurus card, which is very Earth. <laughs> it's leader Earth, like your leader water. I don't know in case that matters. Uh, then the the Knight of Coins is like that's somebody who just either they hold the line, they will not give it up, or they might go like a foot down the road every day, but that's as far as they go. They like, they go a foot forward. That's it. Oh, wait, it's Tuesday, one foot forward, that's it. It's Wednesday, okay, one more foot forward, that's it. It, it can be, the reason I'm saying it that way is that it can be so slow that you're like, I don't even know if we're actually moving, I just, I don't even know, it doesn't feel like it. We've gone five feet in five days, like, are we, are, are we actually moving? Like, are we really though? <laughs> like, are we really? It's kind of like, you know, after three months, it's kind of like, well, I feel like we've made some distance, <laughs> like after three months we made it what a good 90 feet which that's that's something 90 feet is something but it's like it's going to take us 10 years to really get any type of distance here um that's how this works though but it is like the thing is the trick with this card too especially the knight every time a foot is successfully taken it's kept once those 90 feet, after like two, three months, they got 90 feet, that's not going, they're not losing it. That's banked, stayed, that's like, they, it's secured, it's not going anywhere, it's theirs, they're keeping it, nobody can have it. They're not giving up. Every foot they get, they secure, they keep, nobody else is getting it. Um, and I feel like this is another reason, kind of like, all right, we're working with it, we're going forward with it. it this can only go on for so long, um... There is a goal for this. And I feel like we have to assess what the actual goal is. Whoever's imposing the restrictions, they think they know, but they don't. Usually they would. I feel like that's tricky. They think they know, but they really don't. The thing is, they usually would. I feel like they usually would. They usually would, but in this one, I don't. Because these are all the challenge cards. They got the High Priestess, the Psychic card here, and um, the actually Psychic Abilities and Manifestation. Normally, they're on, but in this situation, they're not. This situation is going to hit this road bump, and it's going to throw things right out of the cart, which is actually very fortunate that you're here, because when things go pew, and somebody needs to move fast, Scorpio has it. Something goes left field, out of bounds, not planned. Scorpio's like, I got it. And you just kind of grab it, handle it, deal with it, put it where it needs to go, and you keep moving. Keep moving. You got this. They're lucky you're here. <laughs> you're. It's very fortunate for you, too, because I'm getting whatever this is that you're like, no, this has to succeed this has to succeed. I'm getting this energy for you. This is why you're putting up with it. I feel like this is the whole reason you're putting up with it. No, this is going to succeed. This has to succeed. For that reason, I will put up with this. And then when things go, they go something like this situation hits a bump. And it's like, if you think of a cart going down a hill at 60 miles an hour, then it just boom, hits a rock and things go flying everywhere. The person who was, you know, driving the cart is dumbfounded and doesn't know what to do. You're like, well, don't just sit there. Let's grab this, grab that, put it together, get it together. Like, and you pull it all back together and get the cart moving again. You're like, yeah, okay, there's some damage, but so what? Pull it together. We, most of this is still fine. Get it back in the cart. Let's get going. We can't just sit here and look at each other like idiots. Let's move. Um, and you're that energy, kind of like, don't just sit there. Come on. Let's go. Clean it up. Get going. Let's move. And you're going to do that because I'm getting like things are going to change because the travel card sometimes talks about like a change. I'm an intuitive reader. Um, when this person's boundaries get pushed out of whack and you're not doing it, you're not the one throwing things out of the wagon. You're the one, like, once it happens, doing the cleanup and getting it back online. They're not going to know what to do. I'm getting that, that two of swords, like, this isn't supposed to happen. I'm getting that energy with them. Like, my boundaries have been crossed. Boundaries have been crossed and breached, and I don't know. Like, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'd get somebody, like, really upset, like, their boundaries were breached. You have to pull it together and then keep it going. I feel like you do. I also feel like you, the, literally the compassion card is here. For those of you, that's going to hit differently for. You're going to know what way that goes. 
either it's going to be you know promoting like you do have a very compassionate side and it's not lost because I feel like some of you are, are going to be very compassionate but this person's not going to be very responsive they're just kind of going to be kind of blank you're not going to be sure if they really appreciate that it is appreciated I just feel like they're dumbfounded for others of you Scorpio is extremely strong. I don't... I feel like most Scorpios know that they're extremely strong. I feel like, you know, a little extra compassion works more to your benefit. It makes the outcome better. So do what you want with that. I feel like for those of you that's going to hit with, you know, you'll do what you want. You'll do what you want. You, we all know that. Because um, I feel like you're putting the situation back in line, back in bounds. And I feel like you're furthering it forward. You're like, okay, okay, no, no, put it back together, put it back together, and now we keep going. And I feel like as it's, the thing is, after this bump hits and you have it back online and moving forward again, you're then doing work behind the scenes to clean up this and clean up that and put this back where it's supposed to be and back where it's supposed to be, back where that's supposed to go. You're like running back and forth within the situation to continue to heal it and fix it as we keep it moving forward. This other person just tries to like, I feel like they're shell-shocked. Because they literally, it's like really blindsided them. Like, bam. Like, they didn't see it coming. Um, yeah, because it's going to keep going forward. They have to keep moving forward. And they're going to, like, once you get it back pulled together, it's like the cart hit this block. Everything went everywhere. You got the cart back together. You fixed the wheel quick. You got everything you could find back in the cart. And you're like, come on, go, go, go. We got to keep going. We're going to be late. Keep going, keep going. And then it's like, they keep going and they're centering, centering and keeping pace and going towards the goal. Meanwhile, you're in the back of the cart, you know, okay, how bad is this? How bad is that? Can we salvage this? Can we salvage that? Should we get rid of this? If I put these two together, does that fix that? Can we patch this up? Can we patch that up? You're doing all the repairs. Okay, this we can't repair. Let me call ahead to make sure we have some extra up ahead when we need it. You're doing all that type of stuff, which is kind of your thing. Like, quick energy needs to be taken care of fast, just needs to be done, just do it. You handle it quickly. And you'll handle it very well. Um, you're helping them get through this bump. This actually is working very, very well. Working. This is working out very well in the end, if I could say it without tripping on myself. The energy you're dealing with is going to be flustered because I'm getting that energy, and I'm picking up this card, and it's on their side, and I'm getting that blah 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 blah, blah energy. <laughs> They're flustered, but I feel like they do definitely appreciate you more at the end of this. They appreciate you anyway is what I'm getting. But, like, I feel like they understand something more. Like, they're going to understand you more at the end of this. They're going to see more of, like, how, you know, they're lucky that you handle things the way you handle. And you both help each other succeed. Like, they may have looked like they were going to have all the success and they were the reason of the, for the success in the beginning. But in truth, when this came, when push came to shove... Both of you were required for the total success to happen, and you both made it happen. That we good? I think we're there. I hope the message came through. I think it did. Okay. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.